Billy the elephant has been at the LA Zoo for 33 years. He lives in constant pain and anguish. The LA Zoo claims that they're taking good care of Billy and the other elephants. But the truth reveals a very dark and different reality. For four years, we sent legal requests for Billy's records, but the zoo refused to respond. The records reveal a long history of neglect and cruelty. We gave the records to Dr. Ensley, an expert on elephants in captivity. Here is what he found that the zoo had kept hidden. Billy does this all day, nonstop, head bobbing, swaying. It's called stereotypic behavior. It's the result of years of mental and physical suffering. Wild elephants never behave this way, nor do the elephants at Paws, a sanctuary in Northern California that's willing to give Billy a home. Stereotypic behavior leads directly to Billy's life-threatening foot problems. His repetitive behavior and constant pacing cracks his nails, and feeding stations often collect feces and urine, which can easily infect Billy's cracked nails, causing a dangerous condition called osteomyelitis. Also, the rock-solid floor of Billy's enclosure causes other devastating health problems. According to a study at the LA Zoo, his enclosure has a hardness comparable to asphalt or concrete. Unnaturally hard surfaces like these lead to irreversible joint disease. Many other LA Zoo elephants have suffered from this. Over nearly four decades, 16 elephants have died. They all suffered from foot and joint disease. And when Billy was just a calf, to prepare him for a lifetime in captivity, he was forced to endure a brutal training regime, which still affects his mental well-being. Billy came to the LA Zoo in 1989. He was only about four years old. This is a training video made at the zoo with Billy as an example of how to train an elephant. Billy's tusks have been cut, his front legs chained, and the bull hook held by the trainer. For Billy to have reached the level of cooperation demonstrated in the LA Zoo training video, he would have had to suffer through days of repetitive physical pain and calculated discipline and beatings. Sadism, that's the people we had in the barn, sadists. He would chain the elephants uh, by all four feet and then go after them with the Olympic rods. Billy's history of abuse is irrefutable but a new, caring future is within easy reach. Paws has 15 acres of hills, fields, and streams waiting for Billy. I believe a well-run sanctuary with proper veterinary support is a much better environment for an elephant. It allows an elephant to really be an elephant. No matter how well-run a zoo might be, it's inevitably not as natural or healthy an environment for these animals. And that is why I've been working to free Billy for more than a decade. Dr. Ensley recommends that the Los Angeles Zoo relocate Billy to pause as a commitment to his long-term care and rehabilitation. Billy doesn't have much time left. Please let him spend his remaining years at pause. Please, LA City Council, it's time for you to do the right thing and send Billy to pause now.